Hey guys, I'm Akshay from vbomb.com and this is your first look at the Redmi Book. This is a laptop that was announced along with the Redmi K20 and the K20 Pro and well, ever since it was announced, I have been eagerly waiting to get my hands on it. And well, it's finally here. But before I talk about the Redmi Book, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let's get started. So this is the Redmi Book. And yes, if you're thinking, damn it, that looks like a MacBook, you are absolutely right. It does, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Apple does have some of the best looking laptops out there and this laptop, well, it looks great, doesn't it? Everything about this laptop is just classy and good looking. From the metal covered lid and metal body, all the way to this Redmi designed by Xiaomi branding on the lid here. Looks aside, this is also a pretty lightweight laptop. I mean, yeah, it's not as light as say the MacBook Air, but it's definitely light. That said, even though the Redmi Book looks like a MacBook, it's definitely not that. Just touching the laptop gives away the feeling that this here is not as premium as other high-end laptops. But I'm not complaining because this laptop is aimed at the budget market and at that price, this is definitely one of the more premium looking laptops. Then there are the usual ports here, including three USB 3 ports, an HDMI port and a headphone jack. There's no USB-C on board, something you would find on the Mi notebooks and a lot of other budget laptops in India. The one thing missing that might be a deal breaker to people is the webcam. Yeah, the Redmi Book doesn't have a built-in camera and that is a pretty big deal. So keep that in mind if you're planning on buying the Redmi Book when it arrives in India. Moving on, the Redmi Book 14 comes with a 14-inch Full HD display with nice thin bezels on the side and a huge bezel on the bottom with the Redmi Book branding that, again, is very similar to Apple's MacBook branding on its laptops. Speaking of the display, the Redmi Book has a pretty nice display with good viewing angles and nice color reproduction. However, the only issue I have with the display here is that the brightness here isn't as good as I would like. I mean, it's not too low, but if you were thinking about using it outdoors in the sun, I don't think this display will cut it there. For everything else, this display is great. Watching movies and TV shows, writing reports, and in my case, articles, everything is great on the Redmi Book and I love it. Speaking of things to love, the specs on the Redmi Book are amazing for the price. So the Redmi Book comes with an 8th Gen Core i5 processor paired with 8GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD. Yes, those are some great specs for a budget laptop. Plus there's an MX250 GPU in tow for your graphical needs. The Redmi Book comes with Windows 10 on board and the great specs here translate to pretty amazing performance. In usual day-to-day -day tasks, the Redmi Book just breezes past everything you throw at it. Multitasking is easy and smooth, all the Windows animations and transitions look great and work-related tasks are just no biggie for this laptop. I always had at least 10 to 15 Chrome tabs open on the laptop along with sometimes a session of Photoshop and the laptop handled things with ease. Yeah, this laptop should perform well in the long run, but I know what you're wondering about, gaming. Now this laptop obviously does not look like a gaming laptop, but since it has the MX250 GPU, I played a bunch of games on the Redmi Book 14 and well, for the most part, things are fine. PUBG defaults to a mix of low and medium settings and runs comfortably around 40 FPS, which is definitely playable. You can tinker around with the settings to find a sweet spot of performance versus visuals, but the defaults look fine to me. In Far Cry 5, however, the MX250 is pushed to the limits. The game ran at around 25 FPS when being played in low settings at Full HD resolution, increasing graphics to high results in something around 18 to 20 FPS, which is just unplayable. However, the MX250 isn't really aimed at AAA titles like Far Cry 5. Instead, it's aimed at eSports titles like CSGO and well, as you can see, that game runs smoothly on the Redmi Book, pushing well over 50 FPS in high settings, which is awesome. So yeah, while the Redmi Book is not a gaming laptop, this is a laptop that can be used for some casual gaming. Moving on, I also tried some benchmarks on the Redmi Book and well, things look like what you would expect here. In 3D Mark Time Spy, the Redmi Book scores 1266 points and in PC Mark 10, the laptop scores 3596 points, which is what you would expect considering the spec sheet here. Overall, as far as performance is concerned, the Redmi Book 14 doesn't leave you wanting and at this price, it's actually a lot better than any other laptop that's available out there. Where it does lack a little is in terms of the keyboard and trackpad. But before I talk about that, let me tell you about Pulseway, our sponsors for this video. Pulseway is a tool for people who want to monitor and even control their computers remotely without any hassle. Pulseway is a perfect tool for sysadmins and used by thousands of companies to manage their IT environments. It's that powerful. But even then, using Pulseway is incredibly easy and even non-tech savvy users can easily use it to remotely control their systems. Pulseway offers a whole bunch of features including the ability to automate IT tasks, check and update windows, see real-time data on all your systems and more. 
Pulsefay available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux systems. You can go ahead and create a free account which lets you monitor up to two systems or you can sign up to the business edition and get two months off by using the promo code BBOM if you subscribe for the year contract. Do note that this offer ends on July 31st so go ahead and check out Pulsefay from the link in the description right now. So I was talking about the Redmi Book's keyboard, right? Well, the Redmi Book 14 comes with a standard chiclet keyboard with the compact arrow key layout and the keyboard is decent enough. There's ample travel here, which is nice, but somehow typing on the Redmi Book isn't nearly as much fun as it is on most laptop keyboards. The keys bounce back considerably, which actually tired me out considerably quickly, and the quality of the keycaps here isn't very good either. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad keyboard, but it's definitely not the best in this price range. Laptops from Asus will offer you much better keyboards at this price. Then there's the trackpad. So Xiaomi used a Microsoft Precision trackpad on the Redmi Book, which means you get access to a whole bunch of handy gestures and better tracking. I don't really have a problem with the trackpad here. In fact, it's not even small, it's actually decent size, but the palm rejection could have been better. It's not a deal breaker, but it's definitely something you'll notice if you type a lot on your laptop. Honestly, that's pretty much the only negatives I found with the Redmi Book, along with the fact that there's no webcam. Apart from that, there's the battery. The Redmi Book has a 46 watt hour battery, which is not the biggest battery out there, but in my testing of the Redmi Book, the battery easily lasted over 6 hours with mixed usage, which is actually not bad and I don't really have complaints with it. Even with charging, the Redmi Book doesn't disappoint. In fact, it charges really fast. The laptop comes with a 65 watt power adapter and even though it's not USB-C, it does fast charge the laptop. Starting from 5% charge, the laptop went to 82% in just 1 hour and took a total of 1.5 hours to get fully charged. That's pretty impressive and I definitely love it. So yeah, the Redmi Book is a great laptop and in China it's priced at 3,999 yuan which is around rupees 40,000 for the base variant. And at that price, this is a laptop that I definitely want to recommend to anyone looking for the laptop in this price range. Look, if you want a laptop with a dedicated GPU in the 40,000 price range in India right now, the best you can get is the Lenovo IdeaPad 330. And in comparison to that, the Redmi Book has a more premium design, better build, a full HD display as compared to an HD display, an SSD as compared to an HDD, a better processor and a better GPU. Now if you want a laptop with Redmi Book-like specs in India, there's the new Asus VivoBook 15, which is very close to the Redmi Book, but yeah, it's pricey too. So it's pretty obvious that the Redmi Book brings much better value for money at its price. And I really hope Xiaomi brings it to India. I mean, when Xiaomi brought its Redmi lineup to India, it changed the Indian smartphone market. When Xiaomi brought its smart TVs to India, it changed the Indian TV market. So maybe with the Redmi Book, Xiaomi can change the Indian laptop market as well. Well, here's hoping Xiaomi brings the Redmi Book to India soon. Anyway, that was our first look at the Redmi Book. And if it isn't clear to you guys yet, I love this laptop. But what do you think? Do you think Xiaomi should launch this laptop in India? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, give this video a like and share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.